Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this lecture, we'll talk about object type in JavaScript. In the previous video, we'll talk about primitive data type in JavaScript. Now, in this lecture, we will cover object type. There are five type of objects. Array, date, regular expressions, map and weak map, set and weak set. In this lecture, we will cover all these five objects with their syntax. Now, let me first talk about what is object. Object is not like a primitive type that immutable and take only one value at a time. Object can represent multiple and complex values. It is mutable, so you can change any value of object anytime. Object type always work like a container. You can put different kind of data in the container. Object have a literal syntax, open and close in curly braces, like this. This curly braces allow us to express an object content. So let's create a simple object. So we'll just say const obj is equal to open and close curly braces and close this statement with semicolon. You can put your content inside these curly braces. The content of an object are called members. You can also call them properties. The members or you can say properties consist of key and value pair. The properties keys is must be string or a symbol and a value is can be anything for example primitive type or object type. So let's create property of an object. To create a property you can just specify object dot your property name. You can also specify value to that particular property or you can leave that as it is so it will take a default value undefined. Property name must be a valid identifier. In the previous videos, we talk about what is identifier is all about. So let's take an example of object with properties. To create object with their properties, you need to take care of these things. First, object property are always specified in curly braces. Second, to separate properties, you can use comma. Third, to separate key and value, you can use colon. Now, let's take an example of how to create a simple object. So, we'll first create constant object. So, we'll just say const obj is equal to, in the curly braces, we'll create property. So, we'll create a first property, name, and to specify value, we add colon and specify string sandy so this is the value of the key now to create a next property we need to separate them so to separate them specify comma and create a new property with the name age and specify age value so we will just add colon and here we specify 24 you can create multiple object with multiple properties. So in the above example, we created a obj object and in the curly braces, we specify two properties with the key and value pair. So we specify key name and after that we specify colon and then we specify value of that key is sandy. After that, we specify one more property with the key age and value 24. You can also create a function in the object. We will talk about this in the future tutorials. Now to access the object value, we will just specify the object name dot the property name. That's it. Now you will get the property value on the console. There is a complex objects are there in the javascript language but for the beginner level 
we will just take the basic objects we will talk about the advanced object in the advanced javascript tutorial now if you wanted to delete the object property then you have to specify delete keyword to delete the object property from the object so to delete age property we'll specify delete obj dot property name so we'll specify age and specify semicolon at the end of the statement that's it now your property is deleted if you are from the object oriented programming then this concept will not really hard to understand now let's move to the next topic array array is just a collection of data so the data means here a collection of different types it is primitive or object type array is a sequential data that start with the zero and end with n so the n refers to the endless value so let's take a look at the important features of array array element can be any type of data it may be object or primitive type array size is not fixed so you can add and remove array element anytime array is zero base so the first element of the array is zero and the next element is one and so on to declare an array we can use square brackets and to separate element use comma so let's create an array with a different type of data to create array we'll just say constant a1 is equal to and in the square bracket we specify 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 to separate each element we use comma and to end the statement we use semicolon at the end now let's create an array with a different data type so we'll create a constant a2 is equal to and in the square bracket we specify we specify 1 comma 2 comma null comma 4 comma 5 so this is a string 5 now we have a different type of data in the a2 array now let's take one more example of array so we'll specify a string value in the array element so we'll just say constant a3 is equal to hello comma world comma array so in the third example we have array with the string value then we also have an array containing array so to create that just create const a4 is equal to and in the square bracket we'll just specify one more array so in the first index we specify square bracket and specify the values 1 comma 2 comma 3 and to separate the element we specify comma here and then we create a first index value in the square bracket so we'll just say 4 comma 5 comma 6 so, so now we have array containing array right so now if you wanted to check how many elements are there in the array then just specify array and call the length method this method will return the number of element in the array now let's talk about how to access this array value as i said array start from the zero so in the first example the index of one is zero index of second is one index of three is two and so on so to get the value we will just write array name and in the square bracket specify index value so here i will specify zero so now you will get the zero index value on the console if you specify 1 in the index, you will get the 1 index value on the console. Now let's change the array element. To change the array element, specify index value 
and specify your new value. It will automatically update itself. Now let's talk about the new topic date. So date are represent the date and time using a date object. Date object used to get a date or you can use to set date for a particular event. And you can also specify time using date object. To create a date object, we will write const now is equal to new date and specify parenthesis and close the statement with semicolon. To print current date, we will specify now in the console. So here is your current date. Now on the console, you will get the current date. Let me show you how to specify date to the particular identifier. So we will just say const dt is equal to new date and in the parenthesis we specify the year 2018 to separate the year and month we use comma then we specify the month 9 comma and we specify the date 13 now when you print the dt constant you will get the date and you can also specify time with the date object so after the date we'll just add comma here and specify 15 comma 0 it means 15 0 0 there is a different type of method of date object where you can get current date month year time second and so on now let's move to the next topic regular expressions regular expressions is sub language of javascript and it is used to perform complex search and replace operations on string regular expression is a big topic for explanation it is beyond the lecture we will cover the regular expression in the separate lecture but just for now keep in mind regular expression is used to perform complex search and replace operations Let's move and talk about what is maps and sets. In this topic, we will cover map and weak map and set and weak set. In new ECMAScript 6, a new data type introduced is map and set and their weak counterparts. Weak map and weak set. Maps are just like an object, but it is offered more advantages than object in certain situations. Sets are similar to array except they can't contain duplicate element now let's take a look how to create a map so we will just type constant rules is equal to new map and specify parenthesis because it is object to call object we specify parenthesis and specify semicolon at the end using map you can assign a particular role to the user using set method you can specify key and value pair to the map object just like this roles dot set and in the parenthesis we specify t1 comma user1 we will create one more user so we'll just say roles dot set in the parenthesis we specify t2 comma user2 if you are not understanding this topic, then don't worry, we will take a brief look on this topic in the subsequent lectures. Now let's take a look how to create a set in JavaScript. Sets is just a collection of data where duplicates are not allowed. To specify a role to the particular user, you can use set. To create a set type, const roles is equal to new set and specify parenthesis and end statement with the semicolon. Now using the add method, you can add a specific role to the user. So we'll just say roles dot add and in the parenthesis, we specify user. If you check the set object, then you will see the user added in that object. Anyway, 
This is just the basic of map and sets. If you don't understand this topic, then don't worry, we will cover everything in detail in the future lectures. Now I think all these 5 topics are completed. We will move forward in the next lecture. I asked a question in the comment. Answering that question will help you to understand this lecture more. Don't forget to comment the answer in the comment section. That is all for this lecture. We will see you in the next one.